Have you ever had one of those days where it seems like the universe is conspiring against you, everything goes wrong, but upon watching the video replay, you realize you did it to yourself? Well, suffice it to say, this was one of those days. As if to foreshadow, the day started with rain. The rain cleared up, so it's time to get to work. I ran into a bit of trouble with the right blade guide binding on the log and trying to finish before the rain came back, I didn't take the few moments I should have to change the log stop and reposition the log. Instead, I just shaved the log with the chainsaw but soon the log gods reminded me that rushing and taking shortcuts seldom gets the job done quicker. You can't go forward and you can't go back. Well, in my haste to beat the rain, I did something that I've read about on the internet several times. It took me 60, this is log 62. It took me 62 logs to make this mistake. Don't ever do anything in haste. Always check everything. So, my log stop was up. I thought I'd hit a nail or something, but then I couldn't go forward and I couldn't go back. And, uh, threw the blade off. Of course, it's got a few missing teeth now. I really don't have much choice. I can't get it to go back because there's a lot of pith and whatnot that's in here mixed with the, the water lubricant. So I really have no choice now. Of course, get this out of the way. Get this back on the pulleys and hope that I can get through this, the rest of this board without causing too much waving and all the fun stuff that accompanies a dull blade. So I'm just trying to get my blade back on and of course on inspection I notice that I have not only a few teeth missing but I have some bent so I'm going to snap those off. This blade is garbage now. I'm just going to do the best I can to get through I've got it mounted back on. It's moving freely. So I'm hopeful. If I could, I'm still going to see if there's a way I can back this out. Really tension this blade up. It's garbage anyways. Now the reason I can't back out is that as you saw, you get this sawdust collecting uh, mixed with some moisture from the blade lubricant and so it kind of forms a dam as you back the blade up it pushes it and of course there's a, a board on top which is immovable and you just form this this dam block in there got everything tightened down I'm just going to try to push forward. I'm not going to run any lubricant on it. I'm going to go really slow. Hopefully all the sawdust or most of it will get out as I go. 
without that water lubricant. So if I do need to back up, I mean, I really don't know what to do, what else to do at this point. So, so that's plan A. Plan B is just cut the blade. Sharpen a new blade. We do that pass. I want to do over. I'll hold it here and I'll cut it off close to the log so that way nothing is flying wild. It is as they say, haste makes waste. 